legendary boxing trainer Emmanuel Stewart died today at the age of 68. Manny had been suffering from an unspecified stomach illness for several weeks and apparently took a, took a turn for the worst today and actually passed away. So my condolences go out to his friends and family and the fighters that he was still involved with. Um, I've said several times that, in my opinion, Manny Stewart is by far the best trainer for the past 25 years in boxing. I mean, he's created more world champions from scratch than any other trainer for for the past 25 years. Uh, a lot of the younger boxing fans may only know Stewart from working with Vladimir Klitschko and Lennox Lewis. Um, you know, in, in recent years, Stewart had a reputation for being a, a, a trainer who <laughs> teaches fighters to be safety first, who only only likes working with tall, lanky fighters, right? But nothing could be further from the truth. You know, Manny Stewart trained many fighters who were not, you know, tall and lanky. Um, he famously, obviously, resurrected the careers of Lennox Lewis and Vladimir Klitschko. But he also trained, you know, other people like Michael Mora, Mike McCallum, um, Gerald McClellan, Tommy Hearns, Evander Holyfield, you know, so many guys he's trained over the years. And like I said, he's created more world champions from scratch than any other trainer I can think of. And when I say from scratch, I mean Manny Stewart took guys from amateurs all the way through to professional world champions, several guys he he, he done that with. And um, many others, he took them from being, you know, very inexperienced professionals to being world champions, like he did with Gerald McClellan. And, uh, you know, he was obviously the um, the head of the very famous Crunk Gym in Detroit, the original Crunk Gym, which is no longer there. Um, and it was literally like a world champion factory. They were just, it was like a conveyor belt of world champions coming out of that gym. Um, incredible success he had there. And... Um, Manny Stewart was a brilliant strategist as a boxing trainer. Brilliant strategist. I mean, the, the way that he took Evander Holyfield to get revenge over Riddick Bowe in the rematch was tremendous. Very few people gave Holyfield any chance in that fight. Um, you know, he obviously, like I said, resurrected, you know, careers of many fighters. Um, Dennis Andrews was another fighter he resurrected the career of. And, you know, ironically... Uh, his fighter Tommy, Thomas Hearns knocked out Dennis Andrews and then Dennis Andrews came you know, to Stewart afterwards and said, you know, please train me. Uh, similar to what Lennox Lewis did after he was knocked out by Oliver McCall when Stewart trained McCall to knock out Lennox Lewis. You know what I mean? Stewart was a brilliant strategist, um, excellent at teaching fighters correct technique. He could teach you how to fight long and he could, he could also teach you how to fight on the inside. I mean, if anyone watched Lennox Lewis against Ray Mercer, Right. I mean, Lewis showed tremendous ability, you know, inside fighting ability. Um, so, you know, Stewart, I suppose he, he preferred to fight to um, work with, you know, kind of lanky fighters. He preferred that, but he could also have success with, you know, short, stocky fighters, all kind of different fighters. You understand? He was, he was excellent, excellent trainer. And his record speaks for itself. There's no one in boxing right now who's created as many world champions as Manny Stewart from scratch. I'm not talking about taking a guy who's already a, a world-level fighter. I'm talking about taking a guy from scratch and making him into a world champion. No one else is on Stewart's level who's around right now. Um, you know, this is a big loss for boxing because obviously we won't get to see Stewart train any up-and-coming fighters. You know, there's, there's a lot of guys out there. David Hay is one guy who I, I would have loved to see Manny Stewart train him. I think David Hay could have been 25, 30, 40 percent better fighter if he was trained by Manny Stewart, in my opinion. Um, and some of the young guys coming through, I, I would have loved for Anthony Joshua to get Manny Stewart as a trainer. You know, I think Manny Manny would have done great things with a guy like Anthony Joshua. Obviously, we'll never get to see that now. And obviously, I feel I feel for Manny's fighters at the moment. You know, Vladimir Klitschko, um, Adonis Stevenson is up and coming. You know they're going to feel kind of lost without Manny because they got a lot of confidence from Manny because Manny was so experienced and he was so, you know, knowledgeable and he had such a good track record that just having him, you know, train them and in the corner with them gave them a great deal of confidence. So they're going to, they're going to be feeling lost right now. 
So um, like I said, man, my my uh, condolences go out to Manny Stewart's family and friends. And uh, this is a big loss for boxing. Also, a lot of people enjoyed Manny Stewart as a HBO commentator, including myself. So we're not going to get to see that again. But, um, you know, as, as a 68-year-old man, he seemed to be in pretty good health. So he took, you know, this illness just seemed to come out of nowhere and take a turn for the worse. And uh, it's ended up taking his life. So it's a sad loss for boxing. But, you know, the boxing world will move on. And, um, you know, we'll see, uh, we'll see what his fighters can do without him. You know, but like I said, man, for me, the best, by far the best trainer in boxing for the last 25 years. And it'll be sorely missed. So, yeah, let me know what you lot think in the comment section below. This is Hatman. I'm out.